Well, basically a small space behind the Heather became available. We decided that we'd like to do something different in there, and we knew whiskies were coming to the fore. So we thought if we would build a whiskey house, it won't cannibalize the business we already have. It'll attract new business. Luckily, when we opened the doors, it seemed to resonate with people. It does have the largest selection of whiskey in Western Canada, arguably. Nobody's been able to defeat me on that post yet, so. Randy's been with us for over four years now. I would challenge anybody in the city to have better whiskey knowledge than Randy does. It's a, it's a labor of love for him, for sure. I go by the moniker of the whiskey nerd. You know, something really nice and classic and well-rounded, this Glenelg at 12 year. Basically, I got brought into the Shabin at one point uh, just to try a couple whiskeys out and fell in love. Um, so when I basically had an opportunity to get back into to bartending, I came right to the Irish Heather, just knocking on the door of the Shabin and saying, teach me everything about whiskey. And they, they did. From Bladdy Aquamore 4.2 Comus. Uh, this one is uh, probably the peatiest, smokiest whiskey on the planet. Sometimes people want to order a bottle ahead of time. We'll do everything we can to get that bottle in. We got a, a big list back there, about 230 whiskeys. We have our whiskey flags that kind of help people get introduced to different things. Uh, but the run of the flavors, the gamut that we have, uh, is uh, eye-opening for a lot of people. It's our job to guide people into those different styles of whiskeys and explore a little bit, because uh, there's definitely a lot of flavors back there. The Chavine itself is uh, more of a I guess you would say uh, a whiskey lounge. It's where we, uh, we focus on whiskey and uh, you know the smaller events and stuff like that. A little bit more of an intimate setting. It's a fun challenge to get into the whiskeys and you know talk to people about um, what they want to try and you know finding products that are kind of the right ones for them. After putting the time, a couple of years uh, doing it, uh, you, you're entrusted in relationships with these people that when there's a new product, they show back up, and uh, that's exactly what you want.